Three ways to rotate an object in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another Vectomade.com tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to rotate objects. And some of these might be obvious. You might know how to do this already. But uh, at the end, I'm going to kind of give you one that's maybe a little bit less known and is very uh, good for certain instances when you need to rotate multiple objects but you don't want to rotate them all as one big piece you want to rotate them separately on their own axes so um, let's just jump in real quick i've already made a star i'll show you the, the easiest way to rotate is just click on it with your selection tool over here as you hover close to any of these uh, kind of white looking squares on the corners and on the sides and top and bottom you will see that your cursor will change into this uh, arrow that's kind of curved, uh, two arrows pointing, you know, left and down in this instance, and you know, right and down over here. So then you just click and hold, and that will rotate the object. It'll tell you exactly what your degree of rotation is next to the cursor. If you hold Shift, you will do um, cardinal directions, uh, all in like 45 degree. Uh, movements so you can keep it nice and crisp if you do it that way and another way to do this would be to click transform rotate and then you want to make sure previews on and this can just give you an exact angle so if it's really hard to get the exact angle with your mouse then you can do it this way with your keyboard and if you want to you can make a copy let's just say 30 and say copy that will make a copy of your original object as you can see here. Um, and anyway, those are like the simplest ways of doing rotations. But now we're going to talk about one that's a little bit more complicated. So this is a real world example. I recreated this uh, map for a storage unit or storage facility. And it has all these numbers on it. And they actually wanted me to flip it so that the map would look differently in different spots depending on where you entered into the, the building. So, and I already separated everything out into their original stuff, the walls I drew, and then the numbering. So as you can see, if I, those are all the numbers right there. See, and I wanna just rotate the numbers so that um, they, well, I wanna rotate everything, but I wanna rotate the numbers uh, again so that they all kinda still read of this way, I want them to read naturally. So if I grab everything and rotate it, let's just right click, transform, rotate, and let's say 180 degrees. And there's the preview, there it is, say okay. Now that's great, except for the numbers are all upside down. So let's lock these two layers again, just gonna get the, the numbers right now. And I'm gonna select all of them, and then I'm gonna right click, transform, transform each you can also alt shift control d and i'm going to do another 180 degrees i'm going to preview that and as you'll see every one of these uh, transformed independently of each other instead of all rotating around see if i had if i had done transform uh, rotate and did 180 degrees you'll see that the whole thing moves and then i'm i'm off right but if you do transform each, then really all you have to do is kind of do some minor adjusting. Like I might lower a few of these that aren't perfect. You know, some of them are a little bit higher than they would be otherwise. But, you know, this saves you a ton of time rather than having to go through here and rotate each one of these 180 degrees, 180 degrees. Ugh, just take forever. So anyway... That is the tip. Let me know what you guys thought of that in the comments down below. If I taught you something new, if you already knew it, let me know that too. And go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.